Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Wildermyth. When last we left off, we were sending these two up north to Tree Haunts, Hammerfelds, or Tree Haunts and Hammerfelds, uh, in order to recruit us a new uh, individual to join our cause. I believe we're gonna go with a uh, hunter, uh, hunter type, because I believe that Yuri's the only one we got, actually. Now that I'm remembering it. Yeah, because we got a lot of warriors now. We've got two mystics. We still have Lin and Hassan. Um, so a new hunter would be good. And down here, in the Old Cook Hills, we are going to secure the Gloomkin Ancients with this group first. So let's go ahead and find an item, because why not? Actually, what we could do... Ah while they're trying to find an item. Let's send some others to, you know, build the pass. Zero days away. Let's let them heal. Not that it really matters, I don't think, but they can build us a pass. And here's our next incursion. So we got Thrixel to deal with. Uh, not the Morthakai. So this is interesting. I'll have to double check to see where we uh, are standing with them overall. And they are coming from over here. And going straight for Lockdwell, which we have not built any defenses for. Terrific. Oh man, that's great. This is a good... This is good. So good. Okay, um... Do we have two? Wait a minute, we have two? No, wait, sorry. The Lurking Morthakai are over here. So that's okay. So the Thrixel Warriors are the ones that are here. And we have no defenses. Crap. Okay. I feel like we need to send everybody all at once over here to take on this fight. Because the Thrixel, we fought recently, and they've got a lot of, uh, I guess we haven't fought them recently. They've got a lot of mind-bending abilities. Give the target Mind Worm. Mind Worm's target takes damage every turn until they remove the Mind Worm. Fantastic. So yeah, um, I wonder if how long it would even take them all to get down here, because these two are way up here. Let's see if it's long enough. Um, I mean, I guess technically we could just lose Lockdwell, but I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's gonna do good for us overall. Um, let's go ahead and gather one, two, three, four, five. Um, actually. What am I doing? Let's gather these two. Stop. And let's gather the other two that have not gotten here. Or that have not. Because we want everybody in. 58 days away. I don't think that they're going to make it. Like, even running right now, I don't think they're going to make it here in time for them to stop this. Oh, boy. Oh, God. But we only we only literally have two there. <laughs> so if we were to hit defend right now, we just have two to fight. So that's not going to work. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold out, hold out, hold out. Oh, they've ruined it. Okie dokie. We've all arrived at Proud Fields. Pillaging Thrixel have ruined Lockdwell. We need to intercept the Thrixel warriors before they move on to... Well, maybe we... Might be actually a better idea for us to fall back and, and attack them here. If Lockdwell is already gone, let's use our three defenses here. That makes the most sense. Um, yeah, let's go. Oh, and then also we need to gather our other two here. Retreat. Okay, let them come. Let them come. Now sh we shall defend. Yun Baraka Weaver Works. The Thrixel have come. Motes of light shimmer and splash, flow like water in their prismatic shells. It's a hypnotic, almost beautiful doom. How should the defenders respond? Heart spots beat in. 
most likely use our knowledge of the land, harry their approach. That seems best. The enemy ranks absorb uncountered fire, stretch thin along a coverless rise. It is an audacious day. All begin to feel part of the story that grows under them. Uh, I don't think that's a good thing. They're absorbing the fire. Let's see. All foes. Okay, maybe it is a good thing. Stun chance doubled, and all foes suffer two damage to start the mission. So, so far we've got Nightmare Drath Drathix? It steps fluidly, sedatedly, fanning its wings, surrounding itself in an odor of dead flowers. A scorier, muse, seekers, and a thrusk. So the muse, I think, is the one that also does a lot of uh, magic stuff. Okay, kill all enemies, more incoming. So, oh my god, that thing's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. So we got four people over here. We've got this giant worm thing here. Um... Is it literally like the pink worm from Dungeons and Dragons? I mean, not that big, obviously. Uh, okay, so it's got burrow. It burrows to a nearby location, knocking foes away from the location. It has a toxic spike, um, injecting its a target with poison and extra damage plus two damage. And then it also gives us mind worm. So I'm thinking, let's go ahead and move this Dundon guy out here. Can he? He cannot get far enough to hit that thing. What about this guy? Our new... Our new archer. He doesn't have enough for flash cone, but he can shoot. Um, honestly, let's just get everybody out here. Who's this guy? Let's move you here. Let's move Avaria here. As we can have you do guardian in case somebody uh, comes from behind here. I'm thinking Hassan, what we'll probably do with you is get you to splinter blast this thing. You're in a pretty defensible sp uh, spot there, so let's go ahead and... Actually, you know what? We should interfuse with another thing, because splinter blast is going to end our turn, but we could do one more. Should I do... The barricade, constrict, steal fire, maybe do this rubble, because we can also do discus from that. Um, you know what, let's do uh, this barricade, because we can always retreat back. Let's splinter blast from this one to here, 90%, that's all we needed. All right. So I think he can probably take him out. Good. And I'm gonna go back to Yuri. If we move Yuri over here, we can... I don't really want to waste the jump jaw just yet, but we can set up an ambush for a direction. Maybe over here? Let's do that. Because at the very least, if this doesn't trigger anything, we'll get a free shot next turn. Um, I kind of want to scout this out. I feel like we're going to want this. All right, Quinn. Um, how far can everybody move? Zarin can move here, Quinn can move here, and Lynn can move a little bit. So let's move Quinn here. Yeah, there it is. What on earth are you? So you get the terror hooks. Ether burn. Nightmare expends an interfusion to deal magic damage to enemies adjacent to the interfusion. So it will interfuse with something we're next to and then cause it to burn us. But it also can split into two smaller versions of itself when damaged. Torse line additional armor for each interfusion. Great. So we really want to get rid of this thing. Um, I mean, we could do volley of arrows right off the bat for this thing. Feels like a little bit of a waste, but we do have, I think, three of these. Let's do this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work on this. All right. Oh, and he's already in two. Okay. Um, I think let's go ahead. We could swap to a sword. We're gonna go for guardian. Let's move Zarn in here. I don't want a zealous leap yet. 
Let's just go for Guardian, and then we'll move you to wall with the rest of them. Do we Roots and Shoots? Can't reach very far. I'd say let's go ahead and Interfuse with the Barricade. Or the Shrub. Uh, it's only a range of three. Might work. At the very least, it'll set us up for the next turn. Wild Grasp. Okay, that does work on this guy. Roots and Shoots, not, not far enough. Alright, let's work on this guy. And he's done. Oh, did she? Yes, she did. She just uh, crit, so that means she gets to go again, right? Okay, good. Let's interfuse with this hill? Millstone? Because it feels like we're, we're covering a dead end over here. So maybe I do work with the millstone? Ah, no. Let's, uh... Let's go with the rebel. Oh, boy. Yes. And here comes the dragon. Oh, God. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be absolutely great. Okie dokie. So, do I want... I should probably just take him out, because we're gonna have more coming in here. Potentially. We got a spawn point there, spawn point there. Um, so yeah, there's two spawn points on this side, and we've got these guys. Seeker's an easy enough one to take out. Muse dominates an enemy. We'll try to attack allies with melee attack on the enemy's turn. I'm thinking what we'll probably do is blow up something, take out some of their armor, and then take out him first. But what does the Drathix do? Uh, Cone of Poison! Yay! And it also has Mind Worms, of course. Crush. It cannot be stunted against because it's a dragon. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So, what do I want to do about this? Oh, we've got this guy over here. Interesting. All right. So, honestly, he's somebody I should take one of these little little old guys back here. I'll just put him back here. Let's do a shot here. Come on, 63. There we go. So, okay, do we have any... Are they... Oh, this person's also. Condon? They're also one of our regulars. So, hitting the Seeker here would probably be a good option on that part. Thinking of moving Hassan up. Because our other... Yeah. Lin's over here doing magic on that side. Um, what am I thinking? Should I interfuse? Further, I can get his lantern and steel fire. Which is going to be doing damage to their ward, not their armor. Can I really not reach further than that? That's annoying. I wonder if discus... Let's see if that can work for me. Now, now, if I do a discus here, from this thing, discus, oh, does that not get very far? Really? Hang on. Is it only let me hit the campfire or the barricade? That's weird. Okay, well, we'll leave it because we can probably use it to defend this area over here. So I guess let's Splinter Blast here. Seems like a waste, especially since I really want to Splinter Blast these two. I feel like Hassan could have moved more forward. How far can Lin go? If we can just move Lin back over. Lin can move here, but unless we s get this barrel... Yeah, there's too much stuff in the way. We're gonna have a problem there. Okay. So, so what do we do here? So Hassan can take out the Seeker, yeah. Or at least use Splinter Blast on the Seeker. So I might as well start there. Okay. 
And we'll use this guy to shoot it down. Okay, good. He stunted. Nice. But I'm thinking... Oh, they get Spirit Blade. He can't shoot that far, though. We could try Flash Coning. Blinds enemies and deals zero magic damage. I mean, if we can get both of them in that, I'm not sure if I could do just one or two, but either way, that, that could be very, very helpful. So let's go ahead and move you up. Actually, where can he move? Oh, he can move there. Okay, so you first. You behind. Flash cone? Uh, I can't get that one. Oh boy. Okay, well, let's at least blind this guy. He's blinded now. Let's move Yuri. Should we move Yuri up? How far can Jump Jaw be placed? Not very far. So let's move Yuri to the side. Let's put Jump Jaw here. And let's... Should we do Ambush? Dang it, I really should have... I just realized I really should have done their free shot. I totally forgot about that. So great. They don't have through shot. Okay, what can Avaria do here? Uh, Raider... It's not going to do anything to them. I guess we could just do Guardian. We could start a fire here. That might spread, though. Um... I guess, in theory, next turn, Hassan can hit them with the fire. Alright, let's just do that. Free action, fire, and guardian. And should we ambush? Should we shoot? I think let's go ahead and silk step. And we can have you just shoot. Oh, he can't see him. Alright, just dragon thing by itself. Alright, now what do we do over here? Really, we're just kind of waiting for this madness to happen. Um, let me go ahead and give her a, a go here, because we haven't... Can shield shield work? It can. Free action. Do I only get it a certain amount of times per fight? No, it's a free action... Always. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and just strike. And he blocked it. Cool. That's my favorite when they do that. Alright, Zarn. Can I have you jump over her? Oh, I can have you move past her. Let's do that. There we go. I really wonder if they can fire over gaps at things. I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and move Lynn up. She's not gonna be walled with anybody, but... Yeah, not far enough for Discus. Um... And she's tied to two th different things, so I think she's pretty much set. We can do Roots and Shoots, though. Yeah. Alright, and there's the poison. She returned fire. Is that when she's still in Great Plane? Oh, oh boy. And we've got another dragon coming in. Okay, cool. There's the dragon. So she's not still in Great Plane, but that's cool because that went past all the armor to hit that. Is this thing. What did it do? The Muse used Dominate. Oh, is Avaria dominated? On the enemy turn, this hero will move up to three tiles and attack an ally with a melee attack. Does that mean we can't use her? Well, it looks like we can use her. Um, we could have her run up and hit this. Why don't we do that? Oh, there's that thing. Um, we could do Volley of Arrows over here. It sucks, because it's like, Volley of Arrows right here would probably be our best go. Take this thing out. 
that we get the most bang for it at that point. It says she's untouchable. Oh, if she were to do this, she would be untouchable. Let's do that then, because it would kill this thing, it would do a major damage to that, we'd probably be able to use these two to take it out, and then set up for this Seeker here. Alright, 100%. We want 100% here. Alright. Rain Death. Okay, now she's untouchable. And if we could just kill the Muse, then she won't be dominated anymore. Um, let's have you... Move here. Oh, we can... Oh, we can actually try to remove the dominated thing. I think I'm just going to try and shoot, because if dominated I think um, it just says that they can try to remove the effect interesting okay so it doesn't actually say that killing this will remove that so let's just go ahead and give it a shot to try and remove the dominated it did not work See if we can kill this thing. Damn it. Okay, so it did not remove that. That's great. Um, I say let's go ahead and move you here. Can I remove dominated? Did not work. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So we could ambush this one or try to remove dominated again. What do we want to do? Because she's probably going to turn around and, and hit this guy. Yeah, and the worst thing is that this thing will come through here and probably attack her. But she's got untouchable, so let's try to remove it again. Yes! Okay, good. Alright. So at least that's that. What do we want to do about this over here? This is fun. I'm almost feeling like retreating or pulling back. Wait, that actually does a lot. Cause these are these guys are just shoot they're just gonna shoot, that's it. Um Interfuse. Oh we can do splinter blast and remove all the armor. Why don't we do that? Let's see if that can do this. Alright. Where's the other guy? Dundon. We're gonna be in a world of hurt here in a second, because they are like literally one step away. Nobody can come to their aid. Damn it. Okay. That's gonna hurt. Alright. Can she? No. Not Lynn. I need Quinn. Can Quinn move up? I'd say let's rush up here and let's do a shield shear and it blocked it I guess let's just strike can he I think his weapon uh, if I'm remembering correctly his weapon should be taking off some of the armor if I'm not mistaken stats gear here we go um, yeah it shreds too so let's go ahead and move him up and strike and just take these take this guy out immediately oh she can still move theoretically I think I'm just gonna go with guardian though cuz this thing's probably gonna come right in here so let's do guardian and then there's no way Lin can move back and help with this folly back here, so we might as well... Well, we're still getting a spawn point here, so something still might spawn here next turn. Um... I guess let's just move up then. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's going through there. That's not good. Oh boy. Oh, the little guy's poisoned. 
the hell? Okay. I remember I hated these guys. I can't remember why. Busy hands or blurs beneath its brooding bulk. Seen close the globes. It palms round are full of lucent dreams. Okay, so we got a new big worm here, which I think we could take out. It's like, I feel like we wouldn't... Like, these guys, if we could just sprint them back, that would be the best. But we're really... Oh, boy. We are definitely on opposite ends of everything over here. Okay, where is this guy? Spawn Chrysalis. Spawns two Thrixel Chrysalis that will hatch after two turns. That's why I hated him. And we don't have anything for Hassan to interfuse with over here. I guess fire. We can move fire over. Yeah. I think we're, we're probably going to want to retreat and just deal with the Chrysalises as they come. So let's just start over here with... Uh, if actually, if we can get Quinn over here to do shield shear, she might actually be able to take this thing. No, not yet. Oh, yep, she stunted. So I'm thinking, let's go ahead and see if we can move Zarn. How fast we can move him back between zealous leap and then move. He's getting there. Okay. And then Lin doesn't move very quickly, so we're just going to rush you back as fast as you can. Oh, boy. So he's got Spirit Blade, because he's next to this thing. But I wonder... Yeah, let's move him here. Because all this thing does is spawn Chrysalis, so it's not going to attack us. Oh, you're kidding. Come on. Alright, other little guy. Cornon, whatever your name is. Ah, uh, that is fantastic. Okay, Nightmare has Terror Hooks, an Ether Burn, and it can Interfuse. I'm thinking let's let's pull back, let's get rid of these guys first, and then maybe we can have our backup come in here and, and help with the Nightmare. We'll see. Actually, also what we could do is put Yuri down, or have Yuri put down some jump, jump jaws, and let's move, oh, you'd have to move through, let's move our guys though, where can Yuri move, Yuri can move here, so let's move Astelius here, let's move Yuri here, and Averia, can't move enough. Dang it. Okay. I mean, I guess we can go for Guardian. Or more Fire. Actually, let's do Raider. This is the plan. We're going to have Hassan move here. Interfuse for free with the Blaze. And... Oh, I forgot about burning arrows. Now here's the real question. Can these two... Nope. Can Yuri shoot it? It can't. Or she can't. So can we ambush? Alright, we'll set up an ambush with Yuri here. And then... Let's just fire a leash. This guy. He's dead. And let's see if we can't kill this guy. Man, he does not do a lot of damage yet. Okay. I guess we'll go with her guardian. She doesn't have the ability to... What is it? No, she... She's not the paladin. I think that's her brother. Untouchable. Backslam... Every other turn, a very knocks an enemy up to four tiles away. So yeah, we can't do that unless we're next to somebody. So, Guardian it is. Fingers crossed that... Ooh, thank goodness. Okay, I was really worried about that. Oh, it's interfusing with the blaze. Oh, she's in stasis. I forgot about the stasis crap. Alright. Let's move you up. 
Can he jump this turn also? It looks so. Can we move you here? Yes, we can. All right. Um. Damn it. All right. So she's going to have to sprint too. Hmm. Let's move you up here. Let's withdraw from the shrub. And if I interfuse with this, will that get... Oh. I guess that was the end of the turn. Damn it. I always... I always get kind of confused with how the interfusing works. I don't know. Sometimes it works in the way I think it's going to work. Sometimes it doesn't. All right, so we got a dream chrysalis that'll hatch after two turns. And Yuri's in stasis. Can Astelius get rid of that for free? No, it's an it's an actual action. We've got a volley of arrows, which I wonder if we use over here. Oh, we've got two dream chrysalis to deal with. So why don't we have Hassan? Volley of arrows on this thing. Thank goodness. So that took out both the dream crystals. Okay, and then can we discus? Yes, we can. All right. Okay, that's gonna be a problem with the interfusing here. We're just going to have to deal with what we got. Alright, use Discus. Oh wait, Interfuse for free first. Let's do that. Um, we could use the Wild Grasp over here in a second. Actually, you know what I want to try? This might work, this might not. Um, let's use our arrow guys and see if we can take this guy out. And then... Um, we might be able to use Discus elsewhere, or use her attack elsewhere. There we go. Okay, so Hassan now can use Wild Grasp here. And also get hit with that. So now it's two little ones, God damn it! <laughs> Alright, so if Averia can come back and deal with this guy... I kind of want to move you here so you're walling. If you can attack here. There we go. Then... Let's have Quinn sprint up. And then Astelius, you've got a shot here. I'm just going to leave the stasis, honestly, and do all my, all I can to kill these two guys. Oh, boy. So, Hassan can also interfuse with fire. Or we could just Wild Grasp. And then, hmm, I guess we could just fire off right here. Do as much damage as we can to this guy. Do we... I guess he has, technically, he has one more zealous leap. So let's do this. Get behind him. <laughs> Most excellent. <sighs> God, that was not easy. Okay, so... Nobody's injured yet, though, right now. I guess we got out of that. I think the only one that was injured was the guy who was poisoned. Uh, and he was one of the villagers. 
Okay, so that really disrupted everything we've got over here. So now we've got to... Defend? Oh, I wonder why it's having us do that. Gather? Okay. So I guess we're good. It just didn't want to get rid of the defend button. So I think what we'll do is we'll send a couple people down here to rebuild Lock Dwell. We'll send a couple people back here to secure this site, and then we'll send our two up here uh, to do a recruit opportunity. Yeah, I think that's the plan. So if you enjoyed this episode and want to see more of what's coming on the channel, hit that bell icon uh, and, and the subscribe button so that you can see about new things that are coming on the channel. Like this video so it shows up in the YouTube algorithms. And as always, folks, I will see you in the next game.